up you guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel welcome to my channel my name is Tony Brienne and in today's video we are going to be doing a get ready with me while discussing the fall of Miss Khloe Kardashian. You guys seem to have really liked the fall of King Kylie which is my deep dissection of why I think that Kylie Jenner is not as popular as she once was and several of you guys asked me to do the rest of the Kardashian family and I was like okay let's do it and I'm so excited to get into this video because we all know Khloe Kardashian there's a whole mouthful when it comes to her quote-unquote fall. So just a quick disclaimer, it's sad that I have to say this, but if you do not like people talking about the Kardashians because you're a groupie, oops, let me not do that. <laughs> if you are not a fan of pop culture, if you are not a fan of commentary channels, and if you are not a fan of news, please click off of this video. This is all my personal opinion, let's get that clear, and me researching what other people have said and other people's opinions. Video essays analysis are really just for fun and all hypothetical, and if you can't take that and you're gonna comment saying everybody's jealous of the Kardashians and wants to be Kylie, wants to be Kim, wants to be Chloe, please go ahead because mm, we're not doing that. <laughs> no, 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 no ma'am. <laughs> So aside from that, now that we got that clear, we got rid of all the haters and people that just want to complain, let's get into this video. So like I said previously, this video is going to be a chit chat get ready with me style. I look crazy right now, so I am ready just to start doing my makeup and getting ready for the rest of the day after coming back from the gym. As I do my makeup, you guys requested that I show the products that I use. So I'm going to be showing that as I am doing this video and speaking about Chloe. So without further ado, let's finally get into this video. So Chloe Kardashian was born June 27th, 1990. 1984, making her 38 years old. So if you don't know who Chloe is, which is kind of unlikely, especially today, she is the sister of Kim Kardashian, the woman that rose to fame due to having a sex tape with the singer Ray J. So I just filled in my eyebrows with a eyebrow pencil that I received from the beauty supply store, and I'm now going in with my NYX brow glue gel. This is the truth. I got this from Ulta, and this is my second case of it. I highly recommend. Please get this, and it's like $7. So over the years, Chloe Kardashian has received a lot of scrutiny whether that had to do with her weight, her dating history, and numerous other factors. So if you are a fan of media we all know that Khloe Kardashian is constantly in tabloids and it's normally not for a good reason and she is no longer a fan favorite like she once was back in the beginning of the Kardashian show. So the show Keeping Up with the Kardashians aired back in 2007. I'm now going to conceal my eyebrows with LA Girl Pro Concealer and this is in the shade Cool Tan. So the first few years of the show were were an absolute success and a lot of people really favored Chloe. She was a favorite mainly when it came to her witty humor, her relatability, and her not conforming to society standards. Eventually Chloe did conform and this was just the start of the fall of Khloe Kardashian. So I broke this video up into a few talking points discussing different reasons as to why I believe Chloe did fall and we're gonna start off with number one and that is Khloe Kardashian's plastic surgery allegations. So though Chloe was very much so well liked throughout the series in the very beginning. She also got a lot of hate, being constantly labeled as the fat sister or being labeled as the ugly sister. I'll get shot for bringing this up, but don't you think you'd lose, lose a few pounds? What? Don't you think you should lose a few pounds? I don't think she should lose anything. She's perfect the way she is. No, I'm just saying. Do you think so? I have a rock hard body. I'm just a bigger individual. No, you are a bigger individual, but you but could lose a few pounds. I mean, it's not major. Oh, don't walk away. That's what I'm you're, you're avoiding. It. That's why you're running around wearing black. I was wearing black because I was depressed. I don't give a f about all these losers that already call me fat on websites and on the internet and TV and whatever. I don't give a f how many times those people call me fat? Chloe expressed that she did not feel that she was as big as people would constantly say she was, and honestly, she really was not big at all. She was definitely thicker, but she was never big. I want you to know I'm not fat, but because I'm actually secure with myself, it's okay, but keep putting me down. It's fabulous, I love it. I don't think she's so secure with herself. She's cussing at us. And even if she was a heavier set girl, that did not call for any of the body shaming that she consistently got throughout her career. Chloe would constantly preach body positivity and say that you should be happy with the skin you're in, but that 
quickly took a turn when she came back on the show and had a brand new body. You guys, my eyebrows are coming out absolutely disgusting and I'm sad. <laughs> Hopefully we can fix them. Okay, now we're gonna wait for the eyebrows to dry and then I'm going to refill them in and make sure they look just a bit better because they look a little funky right now. So I want a very light face so I won't be putting on foundation. Instead, I'm going to be using this amazing tinted moisturizer by L'Oreal. It's called Skin Paradise in the shade Deep One. I love this. I trust by it. My sister introduced me to it about a year ago and I have not gone back since. So before we get into Khloe Kardashian's new body, I also want to just highlight her many body struggles, though she did put on a front for the camera that she was very confident in herself. She had a lot of stuff behind the scenes. Khloe stated that her and her brother Rob Kardashian Jr. constantly struggled with her weight. And in their book back in 2008, Kardashian Confidential, Khloe touched on this a bit more, saying this in quote, The fabulous Kardashian sisters were not an easy act to follow. I just didn't look like them. And she was referencing her sister Kim and her sister Kourtney Kardashian. So within the years of 2009 and 2013, Khloe Kardashian was over time slimming down and she lost a whopping 20 pounds. And finally, by the end of 2013, she lost over 30 pounds and that was right after ending her marriage with Lamar Odom. By 2015, 2016, Khloe had the what's considered perfect hourglass figure. And Khloe said she lost all this weight by just working out and using weight loss programs. But many fans started to speculate that that wasn't the case at all and that she was too busy trying to conform to her sisters and decided to take other routes instead of going the healthier route. I'm now using the same LA Girl Pro Concealer in the same exact shade that I used on my eyebrows and I'm putting this underneath my eyes. Once labeled the frumpy Kardashian, Chloe now has a hot new bod and a hot new show. So Chloe's rapid weight loss led her to be the host for the show Revenge Body where she was helping other people to get her body by going down a different route than what was speculated that she went down, which is by working out. And a lot of people were like, girl, why are you even the host of this show when you didn't even lose weight the right way? But Chloe constantly said that she lost the weight in a very ethical way by working out and eating healthy. And as we all know, that did not stop fans because Chloe's weight consistently, drastically went down, but her gluteus maximus stayed the same size. So people were opting that she went and got a tummy tuck and a BBL. If you don't know what a BBL is, a BBL is a Brazilian butt lift and that is when they take all of the fat in your tummy and other parts of your body and put it in your buttocks, okay? And a tummy tuck is when a plastic surgeon takes all the fat from your stomach by suctioning it out and tightens up the stomach area so that you don't have to like, you know, consistently work out just to get those results. But you do have to work out to maintain those results. Allegedly, she used working out as her scapegoat as to why she was able to lose that weight so rapidly. So let's get into this big problem right here. So Khloe Kardashian losing all the weight, there's absolutely nothing wrong with her wanting to be healthy. But with her allegedly going under the knife, what many speculate, they're saying that she was conforming just to be like her sisters and that's what made her unrelatable and through that Chloe went from being this relatable down-to-earth girl to being what a typical Instagram model was labeled at that time. Along with her body changes Chloe Kardashian was constantly having many facial changes. Now Chloe did admit to having a nose job and some Botox and fillers but people are saying no your face changed drastically. There is no way that it was just Botox fillers and a nose job. Next I'm using Fit Me's Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 25 and or medium and this is great I'm gonna be putting this under my eye just to make sure that my eye does not crease at all so many people were just very upset that Chloe lost that relatability that so many really liked about her because a lot of people felt they couldn't reach Kim and Courtney's level of beauty and or success in body size. Kim's beauty at a time was seen as unattainable and Chloe's was seen as attainable. And whether or not you see that as an insult, I don't necessarily see it as an insult. But when she decided to fold under pressure and start becoming her sisters, it seemed as if her personality changed as well. Many people speculate that Chloe has a severe case of body dysmorphia because she is very thin currently and she's always changing her face. People say Chloe has a million new faces. They can't tell what Chloe from 2013 is to what Chloe from 2016 is because they look so different. One situation that really upset fans is when Chloe Kardashian allegedly was suing people for using a picture that her grandmother took of her and posted it or at least it got leaked of Chloe just in a bathing suit. Chloe looked very normal, very laid back. It wasn't super posed but Chloe felt that she needed that picture taken off the gram because it didn't make her feel good about herself. Oh wait, let me correct myself. So the photo was actually taken by Chloe's assistant by mistake and she said that it was during a private family gathering and posted to social media without 
Chloe's permission. So might I also add that during this time period, Chloe Kardashian was constantly called out for always photoshopping her photos on Instagram. People saying that she does not look the same as she does on the show versus on Instagram that she heavily photoshops. And in that picture, she did not look all posed up. I don't think she necessarily looked any different than she typically does. I just think that she wasn't posed. You know, we all know our angles. Like it looked like a very chill photo, but people were looking at it and Chloe got very upset at that. And she released this statement to show you all this isn't photoshopped. Shopped. This is me and my body unretouched and unfiltered. The photo that was posted this week was beautiful, but as someone who has struggled with body image her whole life, when someone takes a photo of you that isn't flattering in bad lighting or doesn't capture your body the way it is after working so hard to get to this point and then shares it to the world, you should have every right to ask for it not to be shared regardless of who you are. In truth, the pressure, constant ridicule, and judgment my entire life to be perfect and to meet other standards of how I should look has been too much to bear. She quoted, Chloe is the fat sister, Chloe is the ugly sister, her dad must not be her real dad because she looks so different. The only way she could have lost that weight must have been from surgery. Should I go on? You never get quite used to being judged and pulled apart and told how unattractive one is. But I will say, if you hear anything enough, then you start to believe it. This is an example of how I have been conditioned to feel that I am not beautiful enough just being me. I love a good filter, good lighting, and an edit here and there. The same way I throw on some makeup, get my nails done, or wear a pair of heels to present myself to the world the way I want to be seen and it's exactly what I will continue to do unapologetically. My body, my image, and how I choose to look and what I want to share is my choice. It's not for anyone to decide or judge what is acceptable or not anymore. She concluded the post with, for those else who feel the constant pressure of not ever feeling perfect enough, I want you to know I see you and I understand. Every day I am told by my family and friends who love me that I am beautiful, but I know that it needs to be believed from within. We are all unique and perfect in our own way, whichever way one chooses to be seen. I have realized that we cannot continue to live life trying to fit into the perfect mold of what others have set for us. Just do you and make sure your heart is happy. So this post absolutely enraged people with a sleuth of YouTube videos, TikTok videos, Twitter posts, Instagram reposts, and that mainly has to do with the fact that the car Kardashians perpetuate a very particular body image. If you look at history and the trends that have come about in society, it can be believed that the Kardashians definitely created those beauty standards. So many girls have tried to alter themselves due to the Kardashians and what is considered unattainable beauty standards. I was seeing people make TikTok saying, well, Chloe, you literally folded underneath the pressure of your own family's beauty standards. And now you're saying that all the people in society are the problem. I personally don't want to take away from the fact that Chloe definitely did get ridiculed quite a bit. But also that goes to say Chloe is not necessarily a victim. She was a victim at one point, but you can't be a victim and then try to push these same exact body image problems onto other people. And that goes into my next point, And that was with her allegedly fat shaming somebody. So according to independent.co.uk, they stated that in October 2019, Chloe appeared on the podcast On Purpose with Jay Shetty. So on this podcast, Chloe spoke about mental health, fitness, and wellness. One point during the interview, Chloe made some comments about people's diets and how they choose to eat. And she said this in quote. Like I can't stand people that are like eating a bucket of like Hagen dazs ice cream. Like I'm so fat. And like they won't work out. They won't change their diet. They won't drink more water. They won't whatever. But they're complaining, complaining, complaining. I'm like, well, you're always going to be in this victimized state because you're literally not doing any, you're not being self-aware. You're not even looking at your own reflection saying, okay, what can I do to change things about myself? It's everybody else's fault. Now I completely get that people can be overly sensitive and I don't think anything Chloe said was so harsh, but I don't think it's okay to group people as a whole. Same as she struggled with losing weight, some other people struggle with losing weight as well. And I'm all for a healthy diet, but sometimes people honestly cannot afford healthy foods the way that she can. And it makes her seem very much so out of touch with reality. And I also wanted to add that if Chloe did indeed go under the knife like it is alleged, she has absolutely no right to speak on other people that don't have the same nutritionists, trainers, surgeons, doctors, whichever, to make sure that they maintain a healthy diet and have the motivation to do so. People are stressed. People can't afford 
healthy food options, like I stated previously. So she has no right to speak on that. And I could see why people also did get offended by this, though she did have some truth in what she was saying. Next, I'm going to be using L'Oreal's Voluminous Lash Paradise. I actually thought that it was Maybelline's Lash High, like the packaging looks hella similar. And I don't know, I wasn't like a big fan of using this when I used it, but this is what I have right now. This is all I have left. So we're gonna have to stick to L'Oreal, but I do use L'Oreal True Match. So I don't know, maybe I rushed putting it on. Let's try this again. <laughs> So as I stated, a lot of people felt Khloe Kardashian's whole personality changed once she did finally lose the weight, and she just wasn't the same person that she once was. Next, I'm gonna be using NYX Sweet Cheeks. So this is a tinted blush, and I just put it on my cheeks like it's lip gloss, and then I rub it in. So this is a little bit dark on me, so I'm gonna like mix it in with like a lighter pink that I have with another palette, but just bear with me, give me one second. So let's get into Khloe Kardashian and her dating. So let's be real. We all know that Khloe has Good American, which is her jeans line that I'm sure has expanded. I'm not really keeping up with the Kardashians or keeping up with Khloe necessarily, but I do know that she does have that jean line that has gotten some notoriety over the years. I've heard good reviews, honestly. But Khloe is not mostly known for her jeans, okay? Like Kylie is known for Kylie Cosmetics. Khloe is more so known about her tumultuous relationship that she's had with many athletes and rappers. So we all know over the years, Chloe has dated Lamar Odom, who was her husband that she married after just two months of knowing him. She also had a relationship with James Harden, French Montana, and I heard allegedly the game, believe it or not. But yeah, Chloe is known for being with black men specifically, which also didn't really help with her liking within the black community because it seems she definitely fetishizes a black men because she solely dates black men. So I'm about to tie in Chloe's dating and also her racism allegations that she's had in the past. So there was one episode when Kim was expressing how she was on a commercial flight and some woman came up to her while she was holding her daughter North, who was just a baby at the time. And she was like, that baby is black. So just to cover up this blush a bit because it is quite vibrant, I'm going to be using Roxy by Revolution. This blush palette is absolutely amazing. This color is the bomb.com and I like the light pinks that are also helpful. So back to Chloe and Kim discussing this incident that happened on a plane. Chloe's reaction was quite astounding because she very obviously said a racial slur. Please take a look at this. Who the f cares? Black baby. Hashtag fact. My baby is black. Hashtag I only like black. Hashtag I'm black. That's what I would say. All I get called is a lover all day long. Who the f Cares. So in this clip, it's so obvious that Chloe thought that she did something, okay? She thought she sounded like the Holy Grail and Kumbaya and Black Lives Matter when she just sounded a hot mess and that was not okay for her to say. I don't care what color you think you are. I don't want to hear you saying any type of N-word. Do not say the N-word if you're not black. That's just the rule of thumb. I think anyone should know that. It's not that hard not to say a word. Next, I'm going to be using Fit Me's Press Powder and this is in the shade Tofi and I'm just going to put this all over my face. And also some photos came out with Chloe having a bunch of her black friends with Malika and what's the other one's name? Malika and Khadija, who are the twins that the Kardashians constantly hang around. They're the girls from ATL, if you guys don't remember. But she had them on a leash, and I believe Megan Good was in that picture too. But she's holding a bunch of black women on a leash, and it's like, first of all, who okayed this, and who let her think that this was even a little ounce of okay. And then, of course, with her very toxic relationship with Tristan Thompson, I'm gonna connect this back to black women and racism as well. Tristan Thompson cheated on Chloe several, several times, but Chloe kept going back to Tristan. And a lot of people believe that when it comes to some white women that tend to date black men, they love black men but hate black women. And we all know that just a few days shy of Chloe giving birth to her daughter True back in 2018, Tristan Thompson was caught cheating cheating on her with women at a hotel. Fast forward just about a year later, there were allegations and rumors that Kylie Jenner's ex-best friend Jordan Woods kissed Tristan Thompson. Well, Jordan did confirm this, so it's not really allegations, but she informed Chloe and the world that she did not kiss Tristan, Tristan kissed her. And Chloe and her entire clan of a family decided to drag Jordan through the mud. But you know, the night's, the night's going on and never once was I giving him a lap dance, making out with him, sitting all over him. It's just, 
we're all together, we're in a group. Never once did we leave the public area, go to a bedroom, go to a bathroom. We're all in plain sight. I'm not thinking I shouldn't be here. Right. And that's my first step where I went wrong. And how I would feel mm -hmm. if someone close to me is, is hanging at my ex house or yes. the father of my child. I wouldn't, I didn't think about that. That's the first part of the problem. I was honest about being there, but I wasn't honest about the actions that had taken place. I know I was trying to protect Chloe's heart. Yeah. She doesn't deserve this either. Right. I know I'm not the reason that Tristan and Chloe are not together. I'm just gonna ask you straight up. <laughs> okay. Did you sleep with Tristan? Never. Got it. Never a thought, never a consideration, never happened. Just to clarify, there has been no communication with Tristan, no relationship over time. My well, sisters, you Jordan's talked, betrayal. I talked to you about the first time Tristan cheated on me. I confided in you. Like, my world got destroyed while Jordan is doing press interviews about it? Who the f do you think you are? You can't call me to apologize? Not one time. She never called me one time after the Tuesday when she admitted what she did. But you can go and do a sit-down interview. Singing. Yeah. And I just feel like we're bigger than this. We're better than this. And I feel like if you want to call her, yell at her, like do whatever you want, or let's all talk in person. But I just feel like the singing and the internet stuff, like it's just not okay. Yeah, I just, this is, I've never seen Chloe this angry. She's like genuinely like fuming angry like as she should i'm not defending anybody like she should feel angry she should feel all that you know we just we just don't need to bully somebody is all i'm saying yeah i wasn't even going to tell you guys this but jordan hit me last night and she was like hey do you mind if i can get some things from the house i said yeah but can you come in and talk to me because i really want to talk to you she got her things she came in and just like the look in her eye like she's just obviously really going through it <laughs> now, I personally do not think what Jordan did was okay, but, 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 I like to put myself in other people's shoes. And that's one beautiful thing I love about myself because I'm a never say never type of chick. And I keep it real because any situation that you think you can never be in, you can potentially be in. Jordan was, I believe, 20 or 21 at the time of this incident. And when this happened, Tristan was a grown man. Tristan was probably 27, 28. And he took advantage of this poor girl. Jordan was also drinking, so I'm sure her mind was not right I don't think she should have been at the party at all I probably wouldn't be there and I do think she probably should have expressed what happened to Chloe ahead of time but like Scott Disick said in a clip it's pretty scary to go against a family as powerful as the Kardashians So I just put on a lip liner. This lip liner is from the drugstore as well. Oh, actually a beauty supply store, excuse me. And now I'm going to pair this with a very pretty light lip gloss. And it's this lip gloss. It's by NYX as well. It's called This Is Milky Gloss. And then I'm going to top it off with a light shimmer. This is from the beauty supply store as well. It's RK by Kiss and it's their jelly lip gloss collection. So what I was saying is if Chloe can go back to a man that literally cheated on her just shy days away from her pushing a baby in a placenta out, Chloe will go back to a man period and she's proven that time and time again. So I'm sure that Jordan knew that she was going to be blamed to some sort and like I said she definitely did deserve some blame but the amount of ridicule that these grown ASS women were giving Jordan when they literally could be her her mother was astounding and it just showed how they treat black women and felt that they could take her out the game and all that stuff and i also want to add i just find it really funny
Johnny that Chloe felt the need to attack Jordan and say, you ruined my family, you broke us up, calling her out her name and all of that. When Chloe has literally been accused multiple times for taking men away from black women. And I barely want to say taken away because a man that wants to be kept can't be taken away, but that's besides the point. But it's just funny how she felt the need to do all that. Allegedly, her and the rapper Trina were cool and Trina was dating French Montana and Chloe went after French Montana while Trina was dealing with French Montana. And then of course, their pregnant girlfriend who was Jordan Craig, I want to say her name. She was very well with Tristan and Chloe said snatches to that as well. So now it seems like she's just so appalled that a black woman did this to her when she always did this to black women. But I'm not going to say too much on that. And of course, we don't know for sure. She has denied these rumors. Jordan Craig has even denied it. But who knows if she got paid to say that or not. And I'm not even the type to use racism for every small incident, but the way they were acting and the fact that she took Tristan back, it all goes back to show with my first allegation that she's probably one of those white women that hate black women but love black men. Or should I say love what black men have. Tristan then went to cheat on Chloe, I'm sure, several other times. I mean, a whole bunch of OnlyFans models and IG girls came out saying that he cheated on her before, but then he went ahead and had a baby on her, a whole human being. And then Chloe had a surrogate carrying a child at the same time. Now, allegedly this baby was already coming about. Chloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson's baby and then Marley's baby, that's the woman that he cheat on her with, she came in the picture or Chloe found out about them after the fact. But if I'm being honest, I would not be surprised if Chloe probably was like in the process of having this baby and decided just to go forward with having the baby solely because she really wanted a baby and she knew that this was like the final strike because now she had a baby on him and then all this news was going to eventually come out and she probably wanted to have the same father for both of her children. I don't put nothing past the Kardashians and I wouldn't be surprised if that was definitely true and I'm definitely right. So aside from like, you know, Chloe bashing a black woman, she was just honestly not a good role model for women in general the amount of time she went back. Most women would have been left, especially while you're pregnant, like you're cheating on your pregnant girlfriend. You literally were playing around with girls while she is about to be due any day now, but you stayed. So people honestly just lost respect for Chloe and were disappointed in her and I'm not even surprised. Chloe bullied Jordan Woods just to stay with the man who had that commitment to you and disrespected you. It's like honestly disgusting and repulsive and a lot of people just lost respect for her once again. I think if Chloe actually takes time to heal, especially with having a daughter and now even having a son, hoping that her son does not treat other women like this, I think that she definitely could gain her fame back because she definitely knows how to keep an audience. She has the personality for it. She's funny. She's witty. Um, I think she's a beautiful woman. Aside from her allegedly having plastic surgery, she's still a beautiful woman. I just think that she needs to learn a little bit of self-worth and to really sit back and reflect on who she is and why her actions continue to lead her into so many tumultuous relationships. And I do believe that she seems to be a hopeless romantic and especially with her constantly being compared to her sisters. And I'm sure when she was younger, her sisters probably would always get all the guys. And when they stepped into the spotlight, people were always comparing her to her sisters. So I'm not even surprised that that definitely would have been something that really diminished her self-worth and made her incredibly insecure. But I think as a grown woman, almost being 40, she needs to make a commitment to make sure she's the best version of herself. And I do understand, I do not know the Kardashians, we all know that. But just from speculations and what we see on the show, I mean, they put their life all over social media and they have a whole TV series for it. So there's no reason why I can't speak on what they choose to show to the world. But that's just my personal opinion. Once again, I know I don't know them. Fingers crossed this is the last time she's dealing with third trimester Thompson because it's getting old at this point. All right, you guys, so that is the end of this video. Here's the finished look. Very simple, very laid back. I just wanted like a very like light face. I didn't do any contouring. I didn't do highlight or anything crazy like that. But I really like this look. It's really pretty. I love the blush what it needs to get. But if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Please comment down below your thoughts on Chloe. Do you think she had a fall? Do you think that all the points I made about her fall are accurate? What do you guys think in the comments down below? Thank you so much for 30,000 subscribers. That is insane. My videos have been doing so well and I'm so thankful that you guys are enjoying them. That just means I want to produce even more better content. But you guys are just amazing and I thank you all so much for the support. I love and I appreciate you all so, so, so very much and I will see you all in my next video. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah.